Now, Steinhoff has shown no remorse over the losses its shareholders have suffered, says the former owners of Shuri Taylor Teki Town. Their hope for liquidation proceedings to go ahead today have been stalled by another challenge by Steinhoff over the court's jurisdiction. Lindsay Daintlinger is following that story for us and joins us uh, now. Lindsay, thank you so much for making time. Why is Steinhoff trying to stop the liquidation? Well, Clement, it's uh, quite a protracted battle that uh, some of which played out last week in this court, and that really has to do with jurisdiction. Seinhoff, not of the opinion that this court, uh, the, the High Court Division in the Western Cape, has the jurisdiction to accede to an application to liquidate a, a company whose headquarters and, where, uh, and it's registered internationally. But the court here found that it could go ahead, um, given that there is a South African subsidiary to Steinhoff. Um, and so we had expected those liquidation proceedings to get underway here today. But again, Steinhoff International Holdings, based in Amsterdam, uh, a set of financial creditors as well as the administrators who are working on this global settlement, um, making an urgent application uh, in this court uh, today, again to challenge uh, that it, this jurisdiction issue. It wants the uh, liquidation proceedings to be put on hold until such time that it can appeal to a higher court uh, over this jurisdiction issue uh, and saying that if liquidation proceedings were to go ahead uh, in the coming days, it would really uh, scupper these global agreements that it's reaching with creditors, uh, that those who have brought this application in this court to liquidate the company, that their view is not shared by the majority uh, of applicants. Uh, and uh, so they want um, to be given the opportunity to go to a higher court to appeal this court's right to liquidate uh, what they say is an international company. Um, and uh, so until such time, they say, if liquidation proceedings were to go ahead, it would essentially just, uh, to sum it up, uh, Clement, it would just mess up the whole process that they are trying to reach with claimants, both abroad and here in South Africa, uh, although we know that the vote that was supposed to take place uh, here in South Africa today to accept those uh, agreements um, was postponed without any reasons given. Uh, but let's take a listen to uh, one of the legal representatives of uh, Global um, Steinhoff uh, explaining to the court why uh, it believes it shouldn't be allowed to proceed with these liquidation um, applications. Where we are now, where the Steinhoff Group is now, is the product of years of negotiation of very, very, very difficult discussions and negotiations by the new management of Steinhoff with creditors to find a position which is in everybody's best interest. So we will submit with respect that even looking on a micro level at the applicant, it's alleged prejudice. I've really addressed your ladyship, there is no prejudice really. Because insolvency law guards against prejudice. If these assets leave South Africa, with respect, that's the risk that will have to be taken. If they succeed at a point and they get their winding up order, they have their remedies available. But to hold everybody now to ransom and to prevent the, the global settlement proceeding, we submit with respect is unwarranted. And the prejudice is very, very heavily weighted against the applicant and in favor of the general body of creditors. And the affected parties, the interested stakeholders, and that would include employees, creditors, both actual and contingent. So ultimately, as your ladyship knows a bit too well, when you balance prejudice, you don't often find that there's no prejudice to anybody or to only one party or not another. You've got to balance it. It's a balance of prejudice. Are the former owners of Techie Town happy, uh, Lindsay, because they are the ones that brought this application and, and they've been saying that Steinhoff is just stalling?
correct. Uh, they're saying this is a stalling uh, a tactic by the global retailer that it's had years to show some form of remorse. They sold their company to Steinhoff for 1.8 billion rand, uh, and we now know those shares are not worth uh, what they got in exchange. Uh, and so ultimately, they're saying that the companies had all this time to make amends. Uh, they haven't done so, and they are of the firm belief that Steinhoff is uh, insolvent and that it will actually be using South African um, uh, regenerated money, for example, from Pepco Holdings, money that's uh, made by Steinhoff here in South Africa to settle these uh, claims uh, all over the world. Uh, and they believe that is unfair and uh, that this is no longer a company that can continue uh, to operate. Uh, they want their money back. Ultimately, they even want their company back if it can come down to it. So, yes, Clement, obviously not happy that today these liquidation proceedings couldn't get under Away, uh, and uh, we wait to hear possibly as soon as tomorrow uh, for the judge to rule uh, on whether she will uh, hold off on those liquidation proceedings to allow Steinhoff to appeal. Um, but uh, here's the lawyer for the former owners of uh, Techie Town, that shoe retailer, uh, explaining to the court uh, that it finds Steinhoff's arguments uh, to, to stall these liquidation proceedings uh, not to be without any merits. They didn't turn around and say, we are terribly sorry, we realize that you were misled. Let us try to fix this. No. These are just alleged lies, alleged irregularities that never happened. Why? Because the liar denies it, according to Mr. Debrea. So that is the attitude of Steinhoff. It says, we will keep, we will hold on to what was obtained by fraud. While we were in sole control of the South African companies before they were listed, before they became public companies, we passed these shares and businesses on to the place where they now reside within PEPCO. How are we now going to pay these financial creditors? How are we going to pay Titan? How are we going to pay everybody else? We will sweep up the cash out of the South African subgroup. And we will send it off elsewhere. That's how we'll do it. That cash comes also from the company that was, to put it as it has been put in the papers, stolen from the applicants. Thank you so much for that update to Lindsay Dentlinger.